When it comes to buying tools, there is no larger debate out there than what tool brand you should buy. Go to any home store and you'll be surrounded by at minimum five brand choices and it can be a real struggle to figure out what you should buy. Ask people on the internet and you will get hounded by brand fanboys looking to absolutely crucify you for any decision that doesn't match theirs. My goal today is to help you make that tough decision of which brand of tools is truly the one that you should buy. But here's the honest truth and something that you truly need to know before spending all of your hard earned money on tools. It's definitely something I wish someone would have told me when I was getting started with all of this and something that would have saved me boatloads of money and headache. So what's the tip? Actually, real quick, before I get there, let me know what your favorite tool brand is down in the comments and we can see what's the most popular one. Okay, I know this is really going to fire people up, but here it goes. Don't buy Milwaukee. Don't buy Craftsman. Don't buy Bosch. Don't buy Ryobi. Don't buy Festool. Don't buy DeWalt. Don't buy Makita. And most definitely, don't buy Rigid. Wait, 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 but what tools are left then? Does that mean that you should buy Cobalt, Hikoki, Porter Cable, or Flex? Nope, don't buy those either. When I tell you not to buy any of those brands, I genuinely mean it. One of the biggest mistakes that new and longtime woodworkers make alike is that they focus so much energy on the brand of their tools and completely ignore the function. Let's take a simple drill, for example. What is a drill intended to do? No, it's not a trick question. It drills holes in the material. And it's also used to drive fasteners. Yes, I know an impact driver is better at driving fasteners, but that's a whole other discussion. Just stay with me for a minute. All five of these drills do the exact same thing. Let me pause and say that again. All five of these drills do the exact same thing. End of story. Yes, they are five completely different brands, but they literally do the exact same thing. Are there small differences between these? Yeah, but I would wager a large sum of money that 95% of people using these wouldn't be able to notice any appreciable difference between all the features. If you strip all the color and branding off of these drills, no one would be able to say that one of these is miles better than another. Now, yes, something like this little Milwaukee one is smaller, which might be helpful in some really tight areas, but it still performs the exact same tasks as these other drills here. So what am I trying to say? As someone that's had years and years of experience with basically every power tool brand on the market, I can 100% wholeheartedly tell you that the brand of tools that you buy doesn't matter. I started out my entire woodworking business buying Ryobi tools because they were cheap, which fit my budget, and still to this day, I use these all the time. But as the business grew and thinking that I need to be more professional and look the part, I wasted tons of money on high-end tools only to realize that they do literally the exact same thing as my cheap tools. But Eric, they come in these fancy boxes. Sure, the cases that some tools come in are nice if you move around to job sites all the time, but if you're on a really tight budget, they don't make the tool function any better. Sorry. However, I'm also not telling you to rush out and spend all of your hard-earned money on the cheapest brand tools either. So what do most people do when they're trying to decide on what brand of tool to buy? They look up reviews. Seems like a very valid and reasonable thing to do, right? Here's the problem though. Almost all of the reviews are done by comparing technical specifications like maximum load speed or how many foot pounds of torque these tools can put out. But let's be 100% honest. All of those stats mean effectively nothing when it comes to actually using the tools. It doesn't matter. You'll see people make videos showing how one drill can make a whole three one hundredths of a second faster and claim that that's the best drill that money can buy. Let's call it what it is. It's honestly all just a bunch of mental masturbation. And in the real world, when you're using the drill, you will never be able to actually tell the difference. Also, if you are scouring the internet looking for honest and unbiased tool advice and suggestions, 
why would you ever trust someone who only owns one brand of tools? Do you really think they're honestly giving you the best advice on which tool's best? Don't you think the reviews are just a little biased? That's the reason I own virtually every brand of power tool. I think it's important to offer my viewers honest feedback about a variety of tool brands, not just one. Something else that's important to talk about is planning for the future. A few months ago, I got engaged and it's got me paying more attention to planning for our future. And one of the things we need to plan for is the possibility of what happens if one of us were to pass away. Most people know about life insurance, but they think it's going to be expensive. The 2021 Insurance Barometer Study by Life Happens and the LIMRA found that the majority of people overestimate the actual cost by 3x or more. That's where Ethos Life comes in. Ethos makes the confusing, expensive, and time-consuming task of obtaining life insurance simple. With a 100% online application where you answer just a few health questions and get a quote within seconds with no medical exams needed. The reality is that for the price of dinner, you can pick up life insurance and protect your family. Spending 10 minutes now could protect your family for as little as $10 per month. If you're interested in learning more about Ethos or you're interested in getting your free life insurance quote, see my link down below. You can get your own personalized free quote today by clicking my link down below. So here's how I want you to analyze your decision when you're buying tools. First, if you are already invested in a battery platform, I truthfully can't think of any reason that you should switch, assuming that your batteries will work with newer tools that you need. All these different batteries are one of the most expensive components in any tool system, so there is no reason at all to go out and buy a whole new fleet of batteries when the ones that you currently own work fine. You're falling victim to exactly what every tool company wants you to do, and that's buy more and more shit that you don't actually need. Too often, people are completely enamored by the allure of collecting more and more tools, even worse is when people refer to their tools as their toys. <laughs> yeah, good one. Tools are one thing and one thing only. They're tools. Even Webster defines tool as a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. So if your task is drilling holes and you already have a drill that drills holes, there is absolutely no reason for you to go out and upgrade drills. Now, if you're in need of a new feature, say you need to drill a boatload of holes in the concrete and one of your current drills doesn't have hammer mode, then yes, going out and buying a new drill makes sense if it has that feature that you need. Emphasis on the word need there. So whatever brand you have now, just stick with that brand of tools. They'll be more than adequate for the work that you're doing. But if you are in that extremely, extremely small minority of people who would be extremely benefited from a super minuscule detail in a tool that another brand offers, then, and only then, would I suggest that you consider switching brands. And if you aren't sure if you fit into that category, I'll save you the mental anguish and let you know that you don't need it. If you truly, truly need a feature, you'll know. So if you're debating on if you should upgrade to that shiny new drill because it's got a hammer mode that can plow through concrete 13% faster, but you never drill holes in concrete, don't buy the damn drill. However, if you drill through concrete all day, every day and need a hammer drill to drill holes in concrete, then yes, buy the drill because you know that you need the feature. So what if you're someone who isn't invested in a battery platform already? This is simple. Every single brand makes a drill, impact driver, and circular saw, which are the basic tools that almost everyone will need. Across literally every single brand out there, there are more than capable tools to accomplish your tasks. My suggestion is just look around for something that's on sale and that's in your price range. Just buy it, Move on with your life and you will be fine. Stop wasting endless amounts of time on the internet trying to get validation that you made the right choice. The tools you picked work fine. However, there is one caveat. But before I get there, if you made it this far in the video and want to support the channel, leave a comment down below that says radish. 
Now for that caveat. If you are going to expand your tool selection larger than just those three basic tools, you need to analyze all the supplemental tools that a brand offers before jumping into a battery platform. For example, let's say that you're a diehard Festool fanboy, and you think that they're the best tool manufacturer in the world, and you crucify anyone who doesn't buy their tools, and then you go all in on their stuff. Well, if you do a lot of demolition work and need a reciprocating saw, or maybe a concrete saw, guess what? They don't make one. So now you have to dive into another battery platform. Or let's say that having a cordless hot glue gun is super, super important to you. Well, Ryobi is the only major tool brand that makes one. Or let's say that you're a diehard Milwaukee fanboy, but you wanna own a track saw. Sorry, they don't make one. Actually, supposedly there's one coming soon, but you get my point. So before you start buying any tools, take a good look at all the offerings a specific brand has and consider what tools you'd wanna purchase in the future. Maybe something like a leaf blower or a router or an air compressor or multi-tool or hot glue gun. Does the brand that you're looking at have those? This will save you a ton of wasted money in the future. Listen, just like in the car market and tech market, there are massive fanboys of every single brand out there. You know what I'm talking about with that one guy that has the truck. Don't let these people influence your buying choices and make you think that your tool set is inadequate or wrong. If the tools that you're using work at completing the job at hand, then they're serving their function. If they're coming up short, that's what she said, or not accomplishing their intended purposes, then and only then would I spend money upgrading. Don't get caught up in becoming a diehard fan of Rigid, a diehard fan of Milwaukee, or a diehard DeWalt fan. We all know those people in our lives, and they're annoying as hell. See you on the next one.